Man, I forgot how good this looks in the sun. All right, Dennis. Here's your uh, walk around. Your uh, headlight and taillight right here. Your on off switch, when you want to stop the bike, well not on because it's always on, but when you want to shut the bike off, there's a feeler gauge on each magneto. All you do is squeeze that one to shut that cylinder off and squeeze the one on the inside to shut that cylinder off and it kills the bike. So if you want to start this bike, these are the chokes on either carburetor. Up is off, down is open. So turn them down. Or actually, you know what, put them both up. Here's the on switch. See this button here? This pushes the, excel the, um, the solenoid out. So push this button to load it up. So now we're not trying to start it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna load it up here. So just go like this. Okay, now we shut the chokes off. I'm gonna give it a little throttle with my right hand so you won't be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna give it a little throttle and hit the button. I shut it off. I forgot to turn the petcock on um, to turn the fuel on a second ago. That's why I touched that. And if you decide you want to retard the magnetos, it doesn't really matter. If you want to retard your spark, you just pull them forward a little. But they're fine if you just leave them both advanced. It makes no difference. And then if you want to start it again, just go over. I'm going to hold the throttle with my right hand here. Hit the button. That's it, it's that easy. So all you to remember is when you wanna, like if it's ice cold, or I know it doesn't get that cold where you live, but if the bike hasn't run in a while, what you wanna do is turn the chokes on and just hit the button real quick because that'll just suck a bunch of gas into the motor. So you just flip these up on the other side, obviously too. So that turns the, the choke on. Just hit the button a couple times real quick to fill it up with gas, shut them off with your left hand, push the button in and hold it, give it a little throttle with your right hand, it'll fire right up. Now if you want, when you go riding it sometimes, you'll notice that like, if you go to go wide open, it might stumble a little bit. If you just, instead of having the chokes down, you just uh, click them up, one each, it'll, um, it'll, it'll, it'll smoothen out. I mean, I don't know why it does that. I think it's just, it's taking too much air or something like that, but otherwise the thing's good to go, man. Uh, I would definitely, after you take it for rides, make sure everything's tight and stuff like that because it is fresh. Not so much the motor bolts, but just any little bolt anywhere because the thing's such an animal, it does vibrate and things get loose. Obviously, you've had old bikes before, but I can hop on this thing and ride it right now. Runs great. Uh, again, the battery's always engaged to the starter, but it doesn't lose any power because it's not engaged until you push the button in. So... You want to shut it off, you just squeeze the feeler gauges against the magnetos. 
You want to start it up, open the throttle a little bit, hold that button in, it lights right up. I hope that was uh, enough. If you want to access the oil tank, um, you just got to take this one screw out here. It's an Allen wrench. Pull that out, and then the front just has a post that goes inside the seat post tube. The oil tank's right there. You can check the dipstick, etc. I just put all new fresh oil in it, so it should be more than good to go. Um, it probably drips here and there like every other shovel head does, but nothing substantial. Uh, man, this thing looks good in the sun. But uh, yeah, man, this bitch is ready to go.